Increasingly, more countries in the world are promoting the use of bicycles as an environmentally friendly, low cost, and healthy means of transportation. Currently, there are 1.015 billion vehicles in the world and a similar number of bicycles. Europe leads the world in this statistic, and Amsterdam is the model city regarding the use of bicycles per person and the number of bike lanes. This is followed by Copenhagen, whose cycling culture is considered one of the best in the world. In third place is Sweden, connecting cities and towns with extensive bike paths. In 2014, Sweden announced the construction of a bicycle highway of 30 kilometers with four lanes that will join the cities of Lund and Malmö. It will cost 5 million euros. Let's see in the Americas. What are the countries most friendly to this system of transport? The city of Montreal in Canada has a system of public bikes called Bixi, with 5,000 bikes and 30 bike stations has meant that Detroit has changed from a city of cars to a city of bikes. In Latin America, the first place is held by Mexico City with one million bike trips, the largest number of trips by this form of transportation in a day. Bogota celebrated for the first time in 2000 the Car Free Day, which is commemorated on the 22nd of September. In Buenos Aires, there has been an increase in the bicicendas, as the locals call bike lanes, against the resistance of taxi and bus drivers who are forced to reduce their speed. Quito established in 2013 a free bike lending system called BCQ, which already has 24,000 registered users and 425 bikes across 25 stations. Caracas Free Will is an initiative that is two years old so that locals can enjoy riding on a Sunday with a free loan of light bikes that have been made through an agreement with the Islamic Republic of Iran. The bicycle is becoming more and more a real alternative to other forms of transport, as well as bringing many benefits to one's health. It improves your circulation, strengthens immune system, improves your cardiovascular system, increases respiratory capacity, increases your metabolism and controls weight and stress. For all of these reasons, it is estimated that in the year 2025, the use of bicycles will have increased 110%.